This is an introduction to game theory. Um, game theory is a strategic thought process, so it's much about the thinking process as it is the actual um, map to solve. We're going to be looking at two people, two person games. It could be two companies or two people. So we have our two people, Andy and Bruce, right here in this example. Um, <clears throat> we're going to take it from a risk avoidance standpoint. There's a number of ways you can look at games, uh, but we're going to, typical in business, when people are spending their company's money, money, they tend to be risk avoidance. In other words, they take the sure way. They, they want to make sure that they're set. Um, also, there's two players in this, the maximizing and the minimizing player. Um, Andy, in this case, would be the maximizer. And it's sometimes also called the two. This is the person that will be getting the payout. Where Bruce is called the from, or the minimizer. Um, now, with the maximizer, what they're trying to do is maximize their gain or their utility. Um, they're trying to get the most they can. Uh, what the minimizer is trying to do is cause this person to get the least amount because there's kind of competition going back and forth. So this, Andy is trying to maximize his profit, Bruce is trying to minimize um, Andy's profit or cause Andy to minimize it as much as possible. All right, um, with that it's important to realize that Max's gain is min's losses. So whatever Andy gains, Bruce loses. If this is also called a zero-sum game. Um, give you an idea a little bit of how this works is this is the payoff table. So if Andy chooses strategy one, if Bruce chooses strategy A, the payoff from this game would be the intersection of A and one, or let's say 15 at this point. So Andy would gain $15, I mean, and Bruce would lose $15. Um, so the classification, the games are typically fall into two categories. Pure strategy, which means that each player would play the same strategy every time. And mixed strategy, which means uh, each player would play each strategy for a percentage of time. Um, in this game, we can see that if Andy's trying to maximize, he would always kind of gravitate towards strategy one. Um, Bruce, if he's minimizing, would always uh, try and go to strategy A. And we'll go over this more in the next example. But this is an example of a pure strategy. Because both players would always choose either A or 1, so they'd always gravitate towards A1. Um, so that makes this one a pure strategy. 